Around 180 years ago, there existed in central Singapore a thriving sugarcane estate surrounded by swampy forests where tigers roamed freely. Set up in 1835, this plantation was owned by Joseph Ballastier, the first American consul to Singapore. After Ballastier left in 1848, the sugarcane plantation eventually gave way to country homes, shop houses, markets, sports clubs, and in modern times, high-rise developments, as more and more people started living in the precinct. Now that's a tale. How about some real exploring? For over a century, these now vacant pavilion wards served Tan Tok Seng hospital patients when the hospital moved here in 1909. The design of the pavilion ward was first conceived by British nurse Florence Nightingale. Check out the long central aisle and high ceilings. With good ventilation and natural lighting, it's no wonder there was improved patient recovery. In 1999, the wards were phased out and transferred to run to the nursing home until 2017. Meanwhile, at 11 Mandalay Road, you'll find the former Strait Settlement's Mandalay Road Hostel, which opened in 1925. It was home to medical students from Tantak Singh Hospital. But the war came, and the hospital grounds turned into a battlefield for saving lives. After the medical students moved out in 1957, the hostel served as nurses' quarters for Tantok Singh Hospital until 1995. The building now functions as the headquarters of the Lee Kong Chien School of Medicine. No stranger to rich history is the Mahasasa Naramsi Burmese Buddhist Temple, which was originally founded at Kinta Road in 1878. In 1918, temple trustee Wu Jiao Gao found a 10-ton block of white marble in Mandalay, which was then carved into the largest known marble Buddha statue outside of Myanmar. The statue was enshrined in the Kinta Road Temple in 1921, until the temple, together with the statue, moved to Tai Jin Road in 1986. On the roof of the temple, you'll find a golden pagoda containing a Sima house for religious ceremonies. If that isn't cool enough, check out the pair of Chinte guarding the doorway. Keep an eye out along Buntig Road for a small cart that serves tea and water without charge. The kiosk is set up by Tong Tek Sien Tong Lian Xin Xia, a Buddhist Taoist Teochew temple as an act of charity for the public. At Kim Ket Road, you'll find the Masjid Haja Rahim Abi Kabun Limau. In 1959, residents of Kabun Limau proposed to build a surau, or prayer hall. In 1961, a plot of land was allotted to them. The nearby Muslim community contributed $20 per household to help fund the building of Surau Kabun Limau. The Surau was later expanded into a mosque in 1984 and renamed after Haja Rahima B. Ama Angulia, who had donated to the mosque in memory of her late daughter. If you have an eye for interesting architecture, look no further than the Sim Kuang Ho shop houses. At the turn of the 20th century, Many shop houses were designed with classical European motifs. But traditional touches were also retained, and this hybrid style came to be known as Singapore Eclectic. Spot the animal reliefs? At 239 Balestier Road stands a little red brick temple called Gocho Tuapekong Temple, the oldest institution in the precinct, dating back to 1847. The temple was founded by Hokkien workers who labored at Joseph Balestier's sugarcane plantation. Take a close look at the temple's intricate roof, which features ornate decorations of dragons, birds, fish, and flowers. Don't be deceived by the building's tiny size. Besides its primary deity, Dope Kong, this temple also houses the Tiger Lord deity. If you're thirsty for more, culture vulture, the temple also features one of the last surviving permanent Chinese opera stages where operas are performed as ritualistic entertainment for the deities. Topping off Balestier's history is the Church of St. Alphonsus, popularly known as the Novena Church after the Catholic devotion. The church is named after St. Alphonsus Maria de Ligori, the founder of the Redemptorists. In 1935, the Redemptorists were invited to Singapore by the Bishop of Malacca, and a temporary chapel was built along Thompson Road. After the war, 
A new building was built in 1950 at its present location, and a bell tower was added in 1964. The church reopened in 2017 after a massive redevelopment with a new Gothic-style extension. Today, it holds novena sessions every Saturday for as many as 20,000 people. So wait no longer, history buff. The real adventure's right around the corner. Come discover the magic of the Balestier Heritage Trail.